Okay, let's go ahead and do the 2022 AMC 10B Problem 21. It was also the 12B Problem 20. Not too bad, kind of fun problem actually, I liked it. Let P of X be a polynomial with rational coefficients such that when P of X is divided by the polynomial X squared plus X plus one, so we'll say P of X over X squared plus X plus one, the remainder is x plus 2. So this will equal the quotient of x plus the remainder of x plus 2 over x squared plus x plus 1. This is called the division algorithm. Uh, and when p of x is divided by the polynomial x squared plus 1, uh, the remainder is 2x plus 1. So we'll probably get a different quotient. 2x plus 1 over x squared plus 1. There is a unique polynomial, only one, of least degree, that's important, with these two properties. What is the sum of the squares of the coefficients of that polynomial? We're going to have to find the specific polynomial. I'm not sure p of x is going to cut it. Uh, if we were to multiply by the divisor, you would have q1 of x times that. Maybe you could do something with it. However, we don't have any values. I think the best plan at this point is to attempt to find p of x in a different way than this setup, which is exactly what I did on my paper. So I first said, well, the minimum degree it could be is 2, possibly. Let's see if it works if I make p of x equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So I'm going to put that here. We're going to put x squared plus x plus 1 here. x squared times blank is ax squared. The answer is a. Distribute back, you're going to get ax squared plus ax plus a. You're going to subtract this. So when you subtract it, you will get b minus a times x plus c minus a. Okay, we know that needs to equal x plus 2. That's the remainder, right? This is the remainder here. We, this is remainder because we can't put squared into a linear term. So that means b minus a must equal 1, the coefficient of x, because it's the coefficient of x on this side. And on the other side, c minus a must equal 2. Okay, not much we can do with that. Let's go ahead and do the other one. If I do it with x squared plus 1, and we again have ax squared plus bx plus c, x squared times blank is a, a times x squared is ax squared plus 0x, because there's no linear term, a times 1 is a, if I subtract, you're going to get bx plus c minus a. This time, the remainder is 2x plus 1. So the question I would have is c minus a is 1, but here it says c minus a is 2. That is a problem. That means this doesn't work with a squared uh, a quadratic polynomial. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually erase this and make another attempt with uh, a cubic polynomial since that one does not bear fruit and that's fine that's all part of the solution process taking false paths setting up with an inefficient setup all normal don't worry about stuff like that um, okay so then what now uh, let's do it with a cubic so we've got a x cubed plus b x squared plus c x plus d and I want to divide that by x squared plus x plus 1. So x squared times ax, ax back multiplied is ax cubed plus ax squared plus ax. Subtract down. Uh, is there a faster way to do this besides this process? There might be. I'm showing you my solution, what I did on my paper. So you might find another one elsewhere that's better than this. It would not surprise me. So uh, b minus ax squared plus c minus ax plus d. Okay, 
that is what we have now. We're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna multiply by b minus a, just b minus a. So I'm gonna do b minus a times this to generate b minus a x squared plus b minus a x plus b minus a. So now what, we will subtract. I'm gonna have to get down here and lean down. So we're gonna have c minus b, but negative a, you're subtracting this whole expression, keep in mind. Negative a minus a negative a is plus a, it cancels. So you're gonna have c minus b, that's this one, times x plus d minus b plus a. That's this minus that, the minus sign distributed. This needs to equal x plus two. So then the coefficient is one. I would need c minus b to be one and d minus b plus a to equal two. Let's go ahead and do another one. Um, we'll do this one now. Uh, again, ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. And we're still dividing this time by x squared plus one. I'm gonna write it this time with a zero placeholder term in the middle, zero x. x squared times what? Again, ax. ax times this is ax cubed plus zero x squared plus ax. You're gonna subtract this row from the top row. Subtract, it goes away. Here you'll get bx squared plus c minus ax plus d. Now what, x squared times what? b, so we're gonna put b here, b back distributed is bx squared plus zero x plus b. Now when you subtract, you're going to get c minus ax plus d minus b. And what does that need to equal? That needs to equal this remainder here, which is 2x plus 1. Immediately, we are going to latch on to this d minus b is in the same position as 1, but I've seen that d minus b, it's right here. So if that's 1, then the a must be 1 also. So now that we know a is 1, uh, we know d minus b is 1, but let's go back over here. We've got c minus a. C minus a is two, we're just matching the coefficients. So we know that a is one, so if c minus one is two, then c must equal three. Okay, if c is three, we come back over here, we can see that b must be two. b will be two then, three minus two is one. So now we gotta figure out what d is. We know that d minus b d minus b again is one, so we're gonna have d minus b equals one, but we know that b is two, d minus two is one, d is three. Now we got them all to work out. So uh, we're gonna take our coefficients now, which are one, three, two, and three, and what does it want us to do? It says, what is the sum of the squares of the coefficients of that polynomial. We do know it's of least degree because we tried quadratic one and it didn't work. So now we know that this is the least one because it's the next size up. So you're going to get one squared plus three squared plus three squared plus two squared. That's nine and nine is 18 and four is 22 and one more answer choice E. Hope you enjoyed the solution. See you guys in the next one.